Bobby Schneider once said to me, hey, do you ever think of looking for your dad? And I was like, yo, I'm so fucking overwhelmed by this shit my mother, I can't even think about it. Think about my dad right now. And after Bobby Schneider died, I went search for my dad. And I found out that my dad's name was Texas Will Rogers Clamp. Really? And my, my grandfather was very much into cowboys and that he named his son Texas Will Rogers. And, and so after Bobby Chanel died, I said, I gotta go look for my dad. I looked in the phone book. And I looked, and this was before the internet, and I looked in the white pages, every fucking white pages that said clamp. I would call up, cold call on the phone people and tell them my story about my dad and my mother and me searching for my parents. And people were really responsive. They really were like... Well, yeah, people have hearts. And it's, they, it's, it's, they, it's, it's they a good story. My story. And I was getting down the list of clamps. And I knew he was from Brooklyn, so I was in Brooklyn, and I got to R. And there was Rosanna Clamp. Rosanna with a Z. And I said, this might be the one. And I called her up. And it was my dad's fucking ex-wife. <laughs> and she goes, oh, my God. She goes, yeah, come on over. So I go over there, and she's like, oh man, your grandmother, my dad's mom, she's like, your grandmother is going to flip the fuck out. She never stopped talking about you. Ever. She's going to flip the fuck out. So she put my grandmother on speakerphone. She called up my grandmother out of the blue and said, guess who I'm standing next to? And my grandmother said, little Texas. Oh my God. Swear to God. You're fucking kidding me. Swear to God. Like, she, knew she knew. She knew. She's like, you'll never guess who I'm You didn't have Texas. to tell her. And she said, Little Texas. Holy fuck. And I met my father. My father was, was, was yeah, my father was me. And I stood, <laughs> I stood in front of a fucking, uh, in front of this man, and he was like this, telling his stories. And I was like, oh my God, is this what I'm like? I got to fucking calm the fuck down, man. I got to relax. I can't, you know, I can't act like this. Is this what people see? It really was scary. Anyway, so when I joined... Oh, you think you're bad. Come on. <laughs> so when I joined... ADD the... is my thing, okay? Yeah, yeah. Hyperactivity. I was, I was doing Ritalin before people knew what the fuck it was. Well, I took it and threw it away. I didn't want it. But when, no, I, joined I, Banana Fish, when, I, when I joined Banana Fish, they said to me, well, everyone in this band has a nickname. You've got to have a nickname. And I said, I don't need a nickname. I'm Texas. And that's where that came from, because I just met my father right before I joined this band. Bobby Chouinard died, I met my dad, and then I joined Banana Fish. And I was, I was right after the coal, the USS Coal, and I was going to join the Navy. Oh, you're crazy, and really? I actually went to Fort Hamilton, I was all through, and they were going to put me in. I passed my physical, and I met my father. And I told my father, you know, I'm, I'm going, man. I'm leaving next week or whatever. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I passed my physical. Wow. And he said, no, don't leave me. We just met. Don't leave me. And I was like, all right. All right, I, I'll stay. And I, I told the recruiter, no, I'm not going to go. He's like, if you ever want to go in, let me know. You pass your physical. So they let you go at the end, even though you, you got all the way through. They just still didn't I was say. all approved. I just had they, to make, take the next step. Uh, and well, that's good, I my think. father told me, the, no, no, don't, please don't leave. We just met. We had you know, we to catch up to do and catch up to do. And, and because I didn't join the Navy, I got to gig with Banana Fish because it was not too long after that that I was going on auditions. And had that would have happened, I would have never been in that band. So that's the, that's the origins of me being in Banana Fish. From the beginning, when I was a little boy, you know, uh, the state named Kid, a boy named Texas, and to... You know, getting into BFC, which is uh, one of the great bands of my life. You know what I mean? And I have a lot of great bands, and that was just one of them. But uh, that's what it's all about. You know? The music is what it's all about. That's what it's all about. You know? The music is what it's all about.